2015, this cat comes in, because this is a stray cat, it's a community cat as you can see. So the owner just feeds the cat and then let, let, let him run outside. So this cat is actually a male or female, let's see. It's a female, female spit, spit cat, okay. Now the, the cat has not been eating for four days and uh, has not been meowing. <coughs> Then when there's no sound here, so the, the owner is worried. Also the cat is lethargic, not moving. So the owner brings it in. And uh, this is a stray cat, so it goes up all, all the time now. But today he's meowing. And uh, there's a lot of urine leaking out from the carrier. Okay, I'm going to check. Uh, I already weighed the cat and taken the temperature. Temperature is 39.5. This cat is about uh, 4 years old. Now I will check the mouth. See whether there's any ulcers or not. So you can see there's no ulcer. Normally it's best to have a smell of the breath. It's not so bad. Not so bad. So just check for any fish bone or fish bone trap there. Sometimes there's a fish bone inside. But there isn't any. Now I will palpate the throat. Now palpate the throat. You can see that. It's painful, so so that's why the cat is not meowing because the throat is painful and infected for the last four days and he, and she cannot eat. So what is what is inside here? Maybe she has eaten some fish bones or something sharp. Now this is a community cat, so of course the best is to X-ray, but uh, the owner may not want to. <coughs> want to uh, pay for the medical cost, so we will do conservative treatment because now the cat is meowing again today so I will do the checking the heart first and it looks more active today check the heart and the lungs the cat is purring so it must be feeling better otherwise it won't be purring purring loudly so it's hard to hear the heart, heart sounds because the cat is purring away. But I can hear from this side, the heart sounds okay. There's a loud purring, continuous purring sound. This is not me, it's quite, quite a happy cat. Okay, so after that, the heart and lungs check, then I check the abdomen by palpation. Now you can see that... Uh, wait, wait, don't block, don't block the... I'll do palpation to check whether the bladder is full or not or pain in the abdomen now there's pain and there's a swelling there there's a big swelling I don't know whether it's eaten something wrong so in this case uh, this big swelling it might be the bladder or it might be some something foreign anyway there's pain here there you can see the cat you can see the cat Hunchback. Now, the cat can feel it. There's a big swelling here. It could be the bladder, and it's painful. So, so it could be cystitis, urinary tract infection as well, as well as a uh, infection of the throat. So the best is to uh, give a fluid, subcutaneous fluid, and antibiotics and painkiller. And the best is to x-ray the abdomen for that swelling there, which is painful. I will talk to the owner first. Okay, finish.